Hello everyone and welcome to Monday's edition of Reptile News. It's been a long weekend and I missed you guys. Now let's jump right into it. It's in Syracuse, apparently a large python named Spongebob and an alligator were confiscated by the DEC. Apparently in Syracuse they are both illegal pets. The man bought says that he bought the alligator nine years ago from a pet store when it was just 12 inches long. Police however say that too nine years ago was an illegal sale and apparently he bought the python thought off Craigslist, which was also an illegal sale a couple years ago. So, the animals were seized, the uh, python was sent over to a reptile rehabilitator, and the alligator apparently is being sent to a zoo in Rochester. And yeah, I've embedded a video about it on the website, so links in the description, check it out. Let's move on. Does the name Colin Stevenson ring a bell to anybody? You know, it rang a bell to me as soon as I read this story. Now, Colin Stevenson is a crocodile handler who uh, uh, apparently finally found the wrong end of the crocodile. Apparently during a show he was bitten on the hand and uh, the wound did require nine stitches. But you know, it, it, it just boggles my mind because uh, not only, um, you know, he got bitten on the hand by a crocodile requiring stitches, but he wrapped his hand up in a towel and continued the show before seeking medical treatment. And uh, apparently a lot of people in the, that were, a lot of spectators did not even know that there was an incident, but there was. And, you know, this, this raises so many questions. And, you know, good, bad, it depends on your perspective. I mean, I personally, if I was bitten by a crocodile, if I was bitten by anything with that kind of power, that kind of danger involved, I think regardless of of how uh, uh, superficial the wounds may have seemed at the time, you know, whether it looked good or bad or whatever, I think I'd probably seek medical treatment fairly soon, you know, and it's almost right up there with getting bit by like a rattlesnake and then going ahead and finishing your camping trip before you seek medical attention. I think that would be my recommendation, but Colin Stevenson, he's just a bigger man than me, I guess, I don't know. Finished off the show sought medical treatment, got some stitches, and uh, you know, what can you say? I, I, I believe, yeah, I've said it before with other instances, and I'll say it again with this as part of the game we play. And now for our Banff of the day, which is 72-year-old Gary Murphy out of Florida. You see, Gary apparently heard his dog making some noise in the backyard, and when he went and investigated, he found his dog in between the jaws of a six-foot alligator. Now, Gary apparently jumped right into action, and you know, for being an old man, I'm very impressed. He apparently jumped on this alligator's back and he was hitting it in the head eventually it let the dog go and the dog did need medical treatment for deep gouges I believe a punctured lung and a liver injury and and, and of course the professionals the Florida Fish and Wildlife Commission are saying that it's alligator mating season and it's making the animals much more active which they recommend all pets be kept on leashes um, I, I don't really does a leash make an alligator less likely to attack or just make a dog more likely to die from it because it can't get away I, I don't know you tell me question of the day people does a leash help a dog not get attacked by an alligator I don't know you know it's one of those things we go right back to the cat remember the cat you remember the guy that got really pissed off at what I said he, he thought that I said children should be eaten by alligators Missed the point completely. It goes right back to that. If you live in an area where they are, don't keep the goddamn pets unattended outside. That that's that's what I think. What do you think? Leave a text, comment, or a video response. And now for our douchebag of the day, which is an unnamed Kenwick, Washington police officer. You see, apparently a rattlesnake was found going through a park, and and now in their defense, they say that the rattlesnakes don't normally go into populated areas like parks like that. But I, I guess all the people kind of freaked out. They called 911, and then of course they you know they ran to their car cars and locked themselves inside their cars until a Kenwick, Washington police officer showed up and quickly dispatched the snake and threw its body into the Columbia River. Officials are telling people that snakes do not eat humans and they're actually afraid of humans and the best thing to do is just stay away from them and leave them alone. Kind of contradicts yourself. That being said, I came up with an idea last night. Here's a great chance to, to support what you believe in and, and to work on stopping these snake bans, voicing your opinion without voicing anything at all. And that is with this. I thought thought of this idea and all, you know all you got to do you buy the shirt you support the news it's actually pretty cheap really and if this doesn't say leave our damn snakes alone I'm not quite sure what does it's loud it's red it's yellow it's just it's awesome and then of course I also came up with another idea and that's this okay like I'm, I'm pretty sure like four people got that joke right there and if you didn't go back a couple shows and watch them and then of course last but not least if you support Jason White for president 2012 you might 
might want this. So go check them out. They're in the DRN gear section on the website. Like I said, they're pretty cheap. They go to a good cause, and you know they're all pretty funnier than hell. So let's face it, we want them. I want them. I'm actually going to get some. So uh, anyway, that has been all your news for this Monday. If you'd like to read any more of these stories, that link is right down below here in the description. And as always, if you're still watching, my name is Jason White. Now you know what's going on in the reptile world. Be good to each other.